Stanislaw here from Ocean VFX with a special tutorial all about the holidays. That time of year when it's good to get together with friends and family, have warm drinks and exchange presents. In this lesson, we'll be looking at the M Badges Holiday plugin, how to use it, and some cool features it has. Let's get started. Once you've installed M Badges Holiday, you can find your titles in the Titles and Template tag of Final Cut Pro. Next, click M Badges Holiday. There's over 30 different badges to choose from. To preview any of these, just hover over them with your mouse. To use any of them, just click and drag them into your timeline. I think I'll shorten this duration by clicking and dragging the end handle. That looks nice, but let's work with this a little bit more. With my title selected, I'll activate the on-screen controls. Here you can freely position, scale, and rotate. To access more of the features, let's open the inspector. Inside the inspector are several different parameters to choose from. We have our animation in and out, which will use build in or build out animations. Let's see an example. Our content position, rotation and scale work just like our on-screen controls. It's really easy to just make changes to our text. Each of the different title templates will have different objects inside of them that have their own controls. Each of the different assets will have fill and outline controls. Each asset has an on-off checkbox. Let's make this tree our main asset by changing the position and rotation and the color. Each of the different assets in M Badges Holiday have an outline fill that's offset. This can be changed using the offset fill checkbox. Using the controls for the gift box, I'll just change the position and rotation. If you want to use these badges without a background, just use the background controls. I think I like to better the other way, so I'll undo. Need your template to stand out a bit more? Just use the drop shadow controls. Let's move on, but before I do, I'm going to make these two items a compound clip. And the reason I'm going to make this a compound clip is I want to put a transition on this that's going to affect both the title and my background. I'm using a transition from one of my favorite packs, the M Transition Zoom 2, and this is the result. Let's look at another example using several different templates. I'll resize and adjust this to my liking and place it in this corner. When replacing this text, it may not be lined up the way I'd like. Some of the different titles will have a subtitle or a title path offset. And what that offset is going to do is rotate our text along that line. Since I've resized this, the scalloped edge around are a bit too small. We can change this with the replicator settings. We already know we can use the color controls to change the color of our assets. Using a second template, I can replace this muffin. So I'm going to turn off this muffin and I'm going to go back to my badges and add a template that has a gingerbread cookie. Well, what's great about this package is I can turn everything off except that cookie and use that in this holiday recipe. So in my inspector, I'll turn off my title, subtitle, the ribbon, the bezier, our particles, the background, and the background frame. Now that I've got just my cookie, I'll rotate them and place in position. And what I want to do is I want to make sure that they're kind of lined up here, because if I just play this back, because it's got two different durations, one of them is going to animate sooner than the other one. What I need to do is I need to make sure I extend this out, and now they should match. Let's add one more to this. I want to be able to list out my ingredients for these cookies. So I'm going to use another badge. I'm going to use number 24 here. Now there's a lot more going on in here. So let's go ahead and play with this a little bit and see if we can get this the way we want. To start, I'll change my text. And I'll use the title offset to put it right near the top. 
Now these particles are kind of in the way, so I'll turn them off right now. Next, I've got this gift, which is really cool and I want to keep him, but he's a little big and right in the center. And we'll put him in the bottom right corner of this title. I'll replace this subtitle with the ingredients for my recipe. And I'm going to work with the subtitle offset and just raise it up. I'll use the alignment controls and the position controls to complete my layout. One more thing I forgot to add in here. All this stuff is important, but there's one that's missing. And there's our cookie animating in and the best gingerbread cookies. If we wanted to, we can add one more and I'm going to drag it below these items. And I'm just going to select these and turn them off for right now using the V key. So really all we're looking at is that first one we had. And I'm going to turn off a whole bunch of these items. All that we're going to be left with is this background. So once I have this whole background, I'm going to make this quite a bit bigger. We're going to change this opacity down to zero. And check out what's happening here. So we have this blur control. It's called the clone blur control. And what that does is, you see how it just blurred out the center? And what I'm going to do is I'm going to do that right where my ingredients come in. So now if I turn all this back on, let's take a look at that. So every badge has this as an option. And what I'm doing here is I'm just illustrating how it works if you turn off your background and it's playing on top of the video. You don't necessarily need to do it this way. I'm merely just showing you what happens if you don't have a background on there. So if we have this clone blur amount, we can actually boost this quite a bit more. And all this is with the same title. So it's really versatile with what you can do with these. I think I'll make this a little bit longer. So just dragging that out. And because all these are set to my animation in and out, they'll fade right in and fade right out. Let's take a look at one more. I've placed one last title at the end of my project here that has these snow particles. And I love the way that they animate on, but I'd like them to animate down as well. So I'm going to create a keyframe at the beginning of that title template. And near the end of it, I'm going to just move the position down and this will create a new keyframe. So these particles will animate down as if snowing. The next thing I'll do is I'd like this to grow over time. With my content scale, I'll go to the very beginning and first things first, I think I can make this a little bit bigger anyway. So I'm just going to scale this up. I'll start by moving my playhead to the beginning of that clip. And if I need to see it, I can use the animation in and turn that off. Otherwise, I'll make a keyframe here, go to the end and scale my title and create a new keyframe. And we'll scale it up just a bit like that. I'd like this to animate out, so I'll click that checkbox again. Right, so now we have our particles animating and the whole title itself is coming towards us. All right, so that's a quick, easy way to use the M Badges Holiday in a few different ways to give you a few different effects. Again, my name is Stanislaw Robert Liberto with Motion VFX. For more information about M Badges and for other great tutorials and plugins for Final Cut Pro and Apple Motion, be sure to visit motionvfx.com. Thanks a lot for watching, and I'll see you next time.